The new Ango Rabbit vape cotton is leaving people with questions. So there's a new vape cotton product on the market that everyone is talking about called Ango Rabbit Cotton, which is supposedly resistant to burning and has no smell, even after burning for 60 seconds. Well, they say that you can burn this cotton up to 20 seconds three times, so a total of 60 seconds. And even after burning, you won't notice a difference in flavor. According to the makers of Ango Rabbit Cotton, Lion Ecology, they've spent seven months researching and testing to, to develop this new cotton, which also is supposed to have better taste than other cottons and have better ability to soak up e-juice. The big question that people are asking right now is if this cotton has chemicals applied to it so that it can do these things. Lion says that their cotton is clean and doesn't have any chemicals. Nobody has tested the cotton yet though to find out if that's true. Another issue with this product though, which was brought up by Battery Mooch over on Reddit, is that the packaging claims to have ISO, FDA, FCC, CE, and ROHS regulations compliance. Ango Rabbit says that the FDA compliance logo is just a logo, nothing special. They say that they can claim this because they also sell medical grade cotton that is certified. But obviously this doesn't mean that this new cotton meets the same compliances. A representative with Ango Rabbit told Mooch that they have filed with the FDA, but they refuse to send details to him. Ango Rabbit also claimed that they could put FCC compliance on their packaging because they previously sold electronic cigarettes, which doesn't make sense because FCC standards are for electronic devices, not cotton. This one is clearly fake. As for the ISO mark, that can apply to cotton products, but there are more than 20,000 standards that can make a product meet compliance. Lion refused to tell Mooch which standards they have complied with. The CE mark is one that any company can use, which claims that a product is ready for sale in the European Union. A company can actually self-certify themselves for CE compliance, but Lion even refused to send this document to Mooch. And an expert with CE compliance also chimed in on this and mentioned that none of the directives that apply to the CE mark would apply to cotton used for vaping. And finally, the ROHS mark, which stands for Reduction of Hazardous Substances. This is another interesting one because it only applies to electronic equipment, but Lion is claiming it on a, on a cotton product. Obviously, Lion refused to show the documentation as well because it has to be fake. As you can see, this is all extremely questionable. If they don't want to provide documents that most legitimate companies are willing to provide to anyone who asks, what, what could be the reason? Are they hiding something? Are they lying about compliance? Are they... They are most certainly lying about compliance on several of these marks. So that begs the question, are they also lying about what chemicals might exist on this cotton? Mooch also published images of a public discussion he had on Facebook with Tina Wang, a representative of Ango Rabbit. He mentioned many of these concerns and she was pretty defensive, which is understandable, I suppose. Even a legitimate company doesn't want to be called a liar, but it's the way that she handled it that was concerning. She said that since Mooch isn't their customer, they don't have any reason to show proof of anything to him. She also said that Mooch does battery tests, not cotton tests, so he doesn't understand cotton. But Mooch wasn't saying anything about the cotton. He was questioning the compliance marks. Eventually, she decided to delete the, the entire discussion, but Mooch had already taken screenshots. We can probably expect to learn more about this soon. A chemical engineer who works in material science has offered to do a chemical analysis of the product. Mooch will be sending some of that cotton to him to analyze, and then we'll know for sure. The compliance marks that they're using are probably fake, but the claims that the company makes about the cotton itself might be legit. I hope the claims are true because it would be great to have a cotton that's a little more resistant to burning. And I have seen many positive reviews for this cotton. Uh, for example, Big Lou vaped it until it was white, then continued to vape it. He started to burn the wick and still vaped it until he got a dry hit. And even after the dry hit, he pulled out the cotton and it wasn't very burnt. And Phil Brasardo, he did one of the most comprehensive and accurate tests of this cotton in a variety of different experiments. He did a 30 minute video doing comparisons to other types of cottons and found that Ango Rabbit cotton burns the least and has the best taste, but the but it wick the worst and holds the least amount of e-juice. So it looks like a decent product as far as performance goes, but many people are saying that this cotton is probably just hyped up dental or medical grade cotton. So if you want to save a little bit of money and be certain that you're not vaping hidden chemicals, that might be the better route to go, at least until further tests come out about this.